Hey guys, has this ever happened to you? You turn on the shower, you're getting ready to take a shower and you take your clothes off and you just step foot into the shower, the water is freezing and you just, ah, and you scream, right? Well, think about that. The cold water made you literally scream, jump, you jumped out, but, but why? Well, I wanna show you something really cool because some animals, think about it, live in ice cold water. Well, how are they able to do that, okay? Well, I'm gonna show you how. And all you need are a few materials that I guarantee you have somewhere in your home. All I need is water, and we're gonna to pretend to make really icy cold Arctic water. And I'm gonna load this up with ice, okay? And just for fun, I always like to do this. When you think of hot, what comes to mind? Red. And when you think of cold, what comes to mind? Blue. So check this out. I'm gonna add a couple drops of blue food coloring. Just so that makes you guys really starting to think about things that are cold. And now, I'm gonna take my hand. I'm gonna put it in the ice cold water. I'm gonna see how long it'll take me to feel the iciness of this water. And eventually it's gonna hurt to the point where I have to pull my hand out. Ready, set, go. It's in. And right now, you see, I can take it. I am a man. Actually, wait, it's starting to hurt. And it's really starting to hurt. You see, the ice, the cold from the water, is able to penetrate right now through my skin. It's literally sucking out all the heat from my hand, and right now it's hurting really bad. I can't take it anymore. It hurts. But I'm about to do something that's gonna take my hand, go in the water, and I would be able to leave it in the water all day and not even feel the coldness of the water. Check this out. All I need is a Ziploc bag, and all I need is fat. Yeah, I said fat, okay? This is called shortening. They use this in cooking. Now I want you to think about a polar bear. Polar bears live their lives in ice cold water. You know why they don't feel it? Their entire body is wrapped in blubber. The cold from the water literally cannot get through the fat, so their inside of their bodies are warm. The heat stays in and the cold stays out because of the fat. If you don't believe me, try this experiment, okay? Spoon, bag, fat. I'm gonna become a polar bear. I'm gonna grab, shortening, blubber, fat. One, make sure you leave it all the way at the bottom of your Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna take two. Don't touch it. Grab it from the outside of the bag so you don't get any of the fat. It's really, really sticky, really, really greasy. It's fat. And I'm gonna take Three, and, but there's a problem now. Some of you are thinking, wait a second. Carmelo just said, you're not supposed to touch it. Well then how am I gonna put my hand in there and pretend to be a polar bear? Well, I'm gonna show you a little fun little secret. Four teaspoons. That's a lot of fat. Now check this out. I'm gonna make polar bear hand. Get a second Ziploc bag. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna stick this now into the bag of the fat. So it was a Ziploc bag with fat, my hand in another bag. Now my hand is wrapped around in blubber, just like a polar bear. This water right now is freezing. And check this out. Put this one in. This hand has fat, blubber, protecting me, keeping the heat in and keeping the cold out. This hand has no blubber. And right now, I'm feeling tons of coldness coming through my finger. It's just sucking out the heat from my hand, and I feel nothing in my polar bear hand. And okay, it's starting to hurt. And this one, I'm still like, la di da -di. I feel nothing. I could swim in this all day, nothing at all. And if you want to check this out, and you want to become a polar bear, get some vegetable shortening, some Ziploc bag, some ice, some water, go become a polar bear. Have fun.